cut. Oh, wrong, wrong one. Cut. Control B and always have to make sure you cut the right layer. I've done accidentally cut the wrong layers before. But you'll you'll figure that out when you do it. You parallax mapping is um big for making mistakes. Um yeah. So because you're going to make mistakes, that's why I suggest the multiple layers. I'm well maybe you're perfect. I'm not perfect. Um definitely not perfect. Um, when it comes to this. Now, because I'm using 32 by 32 sprites, I don't need to cut the bottom of the tree that much. If you're using a high fantasy pack or higher sprites, you might want to cut a little bit more of these trees. Base, um... And yeah. I, I shouldn't have made so many trees. This is actually quite current time consuming. Now I want to zoom out a bit and I'm going to make sure I've um, cut all the trees. See, I, I see I've cut all the trees for that parallax, but I've made some trees here too. Now you want to do this one first because they're behind and you want to go up. So the trees that are over top Oh, you go next and the trees over top of those trees depending on how many layers you've done okay so um, I don't have so many trees here um, zoom in again everything I'm showing you is based on some of the experience I've had on doing this so you, you might, if you're experienced, then you probably don't really need to um, watch this video. <laughs> um, probably laughing, laughing at my incapability of, uh, of what I'm doing. And I guess if you use Photoshop, what I'm doing is, uh, I don't know how, what Photoshop's like. For doing parallax mapping, um, GIMP is free, so if you don't have money to buy Photoshop, then I suggest this program. I don't know if Photoshop is uh, better um, or worse. So there you can see now I have. Um, all my trees, bases of the trees there on a different layer. Uh, this going to be the same layer as the ground. Um, that way, if it sort of doesn't fit in the 32 by 32 grid, that means that it won't go over top of my character, um, sort of. Um, I don't know how to explain it. It's... It's complicated. Just trust me. Um, I, some people might be better than this, so you know I'm going to. Um, now I have a um, project where I already have parallax mapping, and I have to see um, how I've done that. Um, it's in the graphics folder and parallaxes. No, nope, not in the. It's not in the parallaxes. So in the pictures, is this the right? Where, where is it? Well, it should be in the parallaxes. This picture system. Where can I put them? Huh? Where are they? Oh, it's because I'm trying to. Oh, it's where it's supposed to be, but because I'm, I'm stupid. 
yeah, I'm stupid. It's it's in here. It just because I was yeah, I was trying to open it with RPG Maker BXS, and of course, I can't open this with RPG Maker BXS. All right, so um, I'm gonna call it Map One. Okay, so we're gonna go back to Gimp. That was embarrassing. Embarrassing. Oh. So we're gonna export this to um, Project One Graphics Parallax, and it is Tutorial Map One. I I. I think I'm just gonna call that export. And but I'm not finished. Um, I'm going to now. What do I need to call this? Um, I did open here. Um, this is ground, so I'm going to call it one underscore ground. That means map one, and just for the ground, okay? Or actually, not the ground. Okay, let's do the ground first. This is the ground. So, um, that's one underscore ground. We're going to export to the same place. One underscore. How is that capital? I don't know if it's important enough to use capital. Always checking what I've already done. One underscore ground. So that's now I have the full map, and now I just have the ground separately. Okay. And now I'm going to take away the ground and just have the part that's over above. And that file will be the map name, which is here I have map 2 and layer 2. So layer 2 is the, the treetops or anything else that you want to be above the character. Or if you have other things like shadow and light, then you need to name the files correctly. So I have ground and layer 2 maps. And then I have full maps. The full maps are not specific to the script. I will show that to you later. So I'm going to call this one underscore layer two sports one under one underscore layer two. I want to make sure that's absolutely correct. And export. Okay. Now, I think I'm finished with GIMP, and I don't need this anymore. And I'm going to check my script. Now, I had um, already chosen my maps. Here is my um, layer 2, map 1. Now, I'm just going to check my files. And um, I've only used two layers, okay? Now you want to take this, and this, this is the 20 by 20 map, and you want to make sure it's covering the entire thing. Okay, don't leave any square. Even if you see this, make sure that you use all this, because, because I've had instances where it looks like it's all there, but it's not. So use, always use the rectangle tool, use the, don't use the fill tool, use the rectangle tool and make sure it's all covered. Okay. And um, now we're going to here, um, I'm going to show the whole map. And I'm going to show it in the editor. Okay, and I don't know where my character wants to start here. And I'm using uh, Selena's tile sets here, but um, go to your um, here. And here I've I've made an X, okay? I've actually drawn in an X. I don't know if you can see that. And here it is. And these are places my character won't be able to walk. You know, like rocks and the bottom of the tree. Okay? I usually use the first two, can't sort of walk over. Um it's up to you how you wanna do that. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six. So that's one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Sometime because you you can't see see it. Um. One, two, three, four. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two
two, three, four, one, two. Okay, and this from there is uh, what part of the tree is that? So it's uh, hard to tell what part of the tree that is. So let's go back in camp and um. Um, it's near the bottom. That part. So it's um, probably like just that, maybe, or maybe one more. These are all the places that my character won't be able to walk. Um, now, um. See how it works. Okay, now I should be able to walk in the trees, but I should be see my character can go under them. Can't walk into the rocks. You should check to walk. To make sure if you've done this right, you should be able to walk the whole map. If you've done if you've done something wrong, you won't be able to walk the whole map. Okay. And everything seems to be working fine here. Okay. Well, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. And have a good day and bye-bye.